Let's get into it. We don't waste no more time on this show right here. Whitlock is calling bullshit on Stephen A. Smith. Mm. Yeah, people been hitting me up in the comments talking about, man, when you gonna talk about Whitlock and, and Stephen A. Smith? I'm like, yo, I don't know how y'all consume all this information. I don't even know all these beefs going on out there. Now, I remember back in, what, a couple months ago, a few months ago, where Stephen A. Smith kept calling Whitlock fat bastard, kept saying with those papers, those tax returns he had in his hand, I'm gonna get you, Whitlock, I'm gonna tell on you. Yeah, I know some stuff. And then Whitlock fired back saying the same thing without the papers in his hands, but basically like, I got facts. You and Shannon Sharp don't want no smoke with Whitlock. Now, knowing both characters as I do, woo, let's just say whoever wins that one, the loser is going to be sitting there saying it ain't over. <laughs> they ain't going to stop. So right now, I guess this is the next round of them going back and forth. We both know they're going to be in the fight if they ever tussle verbally speaking. So Whitlock had to call BS on Stephen A. Smith. And it's in the spirit of coming off the Cat Williams interview, exposing people. Stephen A. Smith wrote a book in which he made some statements about how he got a scholarship in college. And let's just say if anybody has ever played sports, it raised your eyebrows. Well, with Whitlock, it raised more than just his eyebrows. Listen to him. Just think this through. And because I went and looked, it's February. I go check Winston-Salem State's basketball schedule for the 87-88 season when, you know, this is happening in February of 1988. This covers the 87-88 season. Winston-Salem State, like virtually every other college basketball team during that era, played a basketball game on every Saturday of February. So Stephen A. is saying that Winston-Salem State, at the end of their basketball season, when they're preparing for their conference tournament and what and maybe trying to qualify for the division 2 postseason tournament that they play a game on Saturday he wakes up the next morning they're having a scrimmage that he arrives to late in the middle of and big house games checks this 6 foot 1 150 pound guard from New York City who played a couple of months of high school basketball without acquiring any stats or anything, played a month or two of junior college basketball without acquiring any stats or anything. He shuts down a practice, checks Stephen A. Smith into the scrimmage, and then, according to Smith's account, he knocked down 17 straight shots in the scrimmage, and Big House Gaines offered him a full scholarship immediately after the practice. I, I, I'm reading this and when I read it, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This is a comic book. And this man's calling this his memoir. Yeah, okay. Let me just say this, um, cause it's 2024, what is it, the ninth? We ain't even 10 days in and I think we got a theme already for the entire year. I hate those people that sum up a year or I hate even people that come up with their New Year's resolutions. I'm like, dog, if the calendar is telling you what you about to do, you ain't about to do it for long, right? But I'm going to sum up this year already. Nine days into it. From Cat Williams' interview, which is still epic. I mean, I haven't watched it again because that's three hours. But the point is, I just keep checking those numbers like, damn, that thing is doing. From that interview and the spirit of what Whitlock and Stephen A. Smith are going through right now, want to know one thing. How do you call BS on somebody without somebody else saying you're hating, clout chasing, etc.? I think this is going to be the year of truth tellers, you know? This seems like the year of those who come out. Whether you get exposed or not, whoever tells the truth is going to be the winner in the conversation. So I'm not saying Stephen A. Smith is lying. I'm not saying that. But I know there's no way, the way I heard that story, he's telling the truth. You understand the difference? <laughs> okay, he ain't lying. I ain't saying you're lying. He's just not telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ain't no way. Let me tell you why. Not that story, not that version can be accurate. Now, maybe Stephen A. Smith just got bored or didn't want to bore us with the details of that story, so he didn't fill it in, he didn't give it the proper color, perspective, etc. But ain't no way somebody traveled to a school and played in a scrimmage. 
I don't give a damn how many shots you make. You make all the shots. Forget 17 in a row. You make every single shot and then walk away from that scrimmage with that scholarship. Let me tell you, there's no way that happens. Why? Because I've never heard of it. I've never witnessed it. I've never even been around anything like that. Let me tell you, in this experience, when you're going to do a tryout, not a single trial ever <laughs> has ended in the moment and they like, this is yours. Want to know why? Because the tryout is to convince them and they still got to go back and make sure that that opportunity is for you. You ain't the only one trying out. When are you at, we having all tryouts, all comers just for you. <laughs> nah, even you see pro days, combines, it's always other people. Regionals, you know, they do them national combines, etc. There's always somebody else going. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of this, so that's why I'm like, Stephen A. Smith may not be lying, but that version can't be the full truth. So, I've never seen a trial end like that. Unless you're going to try and convince me that it was already his scholarship to lose, I'm listening. But Stephen A. wasn't in that position. The two years before, he said he didn't finish playing, only played one, year, one game of one year and another one game or a few games of another year. So he wasn't in a position to walk into a tryout saying, it's my position and scholarship to lose. He was there trying out for gain, not lose. So I love. <laughs> Woo! I am not the one that wants to see this go, but I will say this. Listening to it, it's like, go where you got to go. Do what you got to do. I want to see where this takes us because if Stephen A. Smith is not telling the full truth about this, why? We all get into storytelling. We all get into talking about what we've been through, et cetera. And you're like, you leave a detail out. Somebody could call you out if they know that detail. You lying. You're like, dog, I just... The truth about storytelling is this. The best storytellers know what not to include in the story, what not to say in the story. Ask my wife. She's not a great storyteller when she's telling me these stories. She includes every detail. And I'm like, ah, could have left that part out. I still get the gist of it. So not saying Stephen A. Smith is lying. Whitlock is. Uh, but I'm saying, I'm certain, I'm certain the way he told that story is not the truth. So y'all tell me, have y'all even heard about this situation before this? And is Whitlock exposing Stephen A. Smith? More importantly, is it his place to expose Stephen A. Smith? I got no problems with it. I got no problems when Stephen A. Smith shoots back and do a summation on that one as well. Um, a lot of people say it's jealousy. They always look at it in terms of likability. Who do I like more? Who's more powerful or who's hotter right now? And then they map, map that on to the truth. That's not how the truth goes. It don't mean who's more powerful is the one telling the truth. Doesn't mean the one less powerful is clout chasing. The truth is all that we got. So I'm looking at this situation from that perspective because they both got many fans and many enemies. <laughs> But you know how the game goes when you're successful. That's the ingredients of it. Fans and enemies. But they got more fans than enemies. So tell me what you guys are. You're a fan of this kind of conversation? Or are you like, dog, miss me with this? 